Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here and welcome back to Lord of the Rims. In the last episode we made quite a bit of progress at home and we got a new colonist to boot. As we can see, Bonfin here is chipping away into the mountain a little bit here. We're wanting to expand Bonfin's area under here and, well, we're actually going to be giving him a new home under the mountain itself. Fitting of a dwarf, of course. Lost Yell, for the time being, is still harvesting pine trees for us and in her spare time researching how we might be able to plant those again in the future, we are slowly getting there with our research. While Lobelia is on the mend from Alpha Beavers in the last, she is still heading out there to go and pick up the corpses that are kind of strewn around the landscape so that we can get some more pemmican and meals made on up. As for Mork, he's working in our dining hall to get all of the chairs and other bits and pieces up and running. And finally, our latest addition, Vadlena, is helping out with that plant cutting too, getting those trees down for us so that we can keep ourselves warm and toasty and so we can complete some of these construction projects we have on the go. Looking on back over at home, we can see that we've already chipped into here, which is fantastic. So we are going to want to try and get a door built there before too long. This is going to be like a little bit of an entryway and this little spot off towards the side I'm thinking of using as a prisoner space but I am kind of also thinking that we might need something that's a little bit bigger than just that. We do want our prisoners to be in relative comfort otherwise they won't actually want to join us. But those are just some of the missions that we have on the go at the moment. I'm hoping things will you know fall up a little bit soon because we want to head on out there into the world to these ruins but doing that um yeah while it's still so snowy it's going to be difficult it looks like morg is one of the first up this morning actually no that's a that's a lie vladlina had been up for quite a long time vladlina doesn't need as much sleep as the rest here and that is a very very handy skill to have you'll see this is where those meteorites came down in the last and we haven't harvested from them yet one of the main reasons i don't want to is we can't actually make anything with the plasteel just yet and so even just having access to that will make our you know <laughs> make our little village here seem all the more enticing to raid we want to avoid that as much as possible Oh dear. And yeah, we can see that we're getting low on wood yet again. So we want to make sure that we keep a stockpile close to home. Yeah, Bonfin's working very, very quickly here. Nearly done with this space that uh, I'm wanting to work out for his bedroom. As you can see, though, we do have these uh, iron ore deposits that are part of this bedroom. I'm trying to determine whether or not we want to actually keep some of that still intact yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll wait until it's done and I'll make a decision after that. Well, Bonfin's nearly done with this last little bit of mining. And I suppose that's a good thing because uh, we're not seeing a lot of hauling happening. And usually it's the refueling comes from hauling. Uh, mining is his top priority, so that's why he's kind of working on that. But uh, it's okay. I think we'll get these fires up and running before too, too long. We definitely have the wood out there. So yeah, I'd just like to see it come back home. Ah, and we have another monster hunt on the horizon. Grey Karube, chief of the Barna Kinship, has been attacked by a fiend, a mountain of muscle and anger. They usually avoid human contact, but when hungry or endangered, they will kill without difficulty. Fiend is a walking mountain of muscle, capped with a horn, two-filled head. It is of enormous size and strength, and that allows it to take out an entire raiding party. Whilst the third eye, located in the center of the forehead, is used to draw their prey into a state of hypnosis. Jeez, okay. Well, some really nice stuff. But, uh, whoo, maybe a little bit outside of our, uh, yeah, range of abilities, hmm? Let's see. Well, it's not that much further. <sighs> we'll consider it. We will consider it. But of course, the first expedition is going to be here. And before any of that, we are going to take down this Arctic Fox before it can take down our doe. So, Lostiel, I need you out here rushing to meet this uh, Arctic Fox. And um, I think you could probably handle this. Let's see. Uh, the goat doe is <laughs> obviously getting attacked as well. Lostiel, a few quick attacks there. 
nothing that you can't uh, do without. All right, good. Okay, nice. Um, now, we could get you to tend to yourself, but meditating, I think, will fix that problem for us. It is just a bruise after all. I'll let you do your work on the goat, and you are going to tend to Lost Hill. How about we get you to meditate instead? Can I get you to just, yeah, force you to meditate here? I think that should work. Yeah, seems to be. Good. And we'll put that back onto an automatic for you. Lovely. Well, that worked a lot better than it probably could have. Good, good, good. And let's get that thing hauled before too long. Well, these two are working very hard together, and we have ourselves an excellent table. fan friggin tastic Okay, so that should help a lot with our recreation. Now, I don't know whether this is considered a dual, you know, dining room and also like a recreation room. Not sure, but... Yeah, it's uh, it's impressive. It's excellent. So, I'm liking that it is uh, as good as it is for them. Oh, Morg, thank you. Getting those all built. More compost on the horizon. Ah, uh, looks like before the hauling, we're going to have some more blocks getting made. You might be able to see Morg working on making a rather nice looking stone floor in here for Bonfin. Yeah, something a little nicer than what we had before. Damn, I'm actually impressed with how quickly that went. Just like that, yeah, all of that construction is done. Very nice work. Oh, and we've got a whole heap of hauling going on here. Vladlina, yep, stocking up all of that salted meat. <laughs> Most of it all over here. Okay, good. Like it. Rabbit, yeah, sure, you can enjoy the plant scraps for now. I am trying to keep an eye on what is out here otters and all the rest i think i wouldn't mind trying to go for some of those otters because they are considered to be predators so they could be problematic if we leave them alone for too long ah look at that everyone just snoozing away this is good this is good but like always we need a lot more wood as campfires are going out that's no good we haven't done much harvesting to the far north of the map so we're going to try and take some of these trees here that are, you know, a little bit further along in their growth. Oh god, we got a mega sloth here just chomping down on some of these scraps. I mean, we could hunt this mega sloth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. For better or for worse. It's going to either be Vlad Lena or it's going to be Morg. We'll see. <laughs> It'll be when they get back home, I think. Morg's coming back now with some wood having a munch and then probably going out to hunt yep okay oh boy <laughs> good job that lobelia got in there so quickly bombfin my friend where are you at the moment i'm gonna need you to pop on out here with me we're gonna slow things down as that door is probably gonna get broken through rather quickly lobelia let's get you moving through down here thank you morg moving around up the top here not firing at the goat thank you uh just just moving for now do I have you? Yeah, there we go. That's better. Bobfin, let's get you within uh, sight of this creature. There we go. That'll work. And... Ha, oh, Bobfin, you are amazing. Just destroyed his brain. My dude, you are a dangerous, dangerous dwarf. God damn. We just smited a bloody Megasloth. <laughs> Um, all right, let's have a look at these goats. Are they both female goats? We could try and tame this one. That's a possibility. Vladlena does have some skill with animals. We could make that a little bit more of a priority for her. Yeah, I mean, aside from hunting, I think that is a good priority for her to have. And we've got another mega sloth out here too. Damn. Well, now that we've got this done, let's get another door in here. I'm wanting one here. And I was wanting to have one down here as well, but... I'm not 100% what we want to do with the space just yet. Yeah, we could have the prisoners still being in the space where we do some of our work. It's a possibility. We'll consider it. Lobelia, I imagine you're going out there to grab this Megasloth corpse. I'm going to be intrigued to see how much leather that gives us. Because uh, once we get enough, I definitely want to get down another one of these plain leathers. Uh, and Oh, it's heavy fur, in fact. Heavy fur and a whole lot of meat. 
Okay, well one of the goals they definitely have is getting rid of this tattered apparel that Vatlena is currently using. So we're going to make some more pants. Just straight up pants. There we go. We could make more in advance, but I think we can make them pretty quickly, so I'm not so concerned with that. Good. Now that we've got that done, we'll copy these settings, paste them over here, and we should be able to keep some more leather up and close for Bomfin. Oh dear, we have a Manhunter pack. Oxen. Okay. Two of them. Two Manhunter oxen. Okay. I think we can manage that. And it looks like that was struck by lightning at some point. Can't remember that. But yes, we've got two up there. Just making sure that we don't have any others hidden about. We don't. We do have a lot of deer that have just made their way onto the map. You know what? We're going to mark all of them for hunting. Yep. A whole heap of hunting from that. But these two, we need to deal with them first. And I want to see a full colony response to this. Just because they have the possibility of being rather rather deadly okay and they're coming fast as well okay back and on up team back and on up i want vladlina and morg to be here i want Nobelia to be on the side same thing with lostiel bomfin we need you at the ready lostiel i don't know whether or not we want to have you using those right now i think remove right click to remove force of use unarmed combat no I, I, you are using unarmed okay that's good what we want it's what we want and we also want you to do a bolt here on this first one that's coming towards us okay a stun that's good okay those two are going to start shooting very soon hopefully hopefully getting a shot off here before it gets too close and ideally we'll get another bolt off okay we want the two of them to be moving back now back down maybe to this position We'll get these two moving back to here. Bomfin, same thing with you. Moving back, moving back. More trying to shoot and run at the same time. Okay. Let's try and do this with no injuries if we can. More to the side, thank you. Okay. They seem to be more interested in them. I don't blame them. Right. Which one are you going to go for here? What? What's the kind of injuries looking like? It's It's kind of split, but if we could kill one, that would be great. I want you two moving back yet again. Okay, another stun. That's right, Bomfin. Moving back for now, thank you. And a greater understanding of magic. Lovely, that's what we want. Max out that lightning bolt efficiency. Fan, freaking tastic. Okay, keep on moving, team. Take a shot. Okay, we need you moving back a lot further. Uh, I'm, I was going to say I'm a little bit concerned about the animals. I'm not just yet. I think we should be okay. Vladlina, please run. Oh boy, that's uh, that looked like that hurt a lot. Yeah, please run, Vladlina. Please run. Just get back for now. Bomfin, I need you ready. Back over here. We're just going to keep on dealing with them using ranged combat if we can. Excellent. Morg, good shot, Vladlina. The two of them shooting from behind here. Okay, you got two shots off. Keep moving. Shoot and run, shoot and run. Excellent. Love your work, team. Okay. All right. Well, they'll get hauled in before too long. This one is most certainly dead. Same with you. I think this one's a little charred, maybe. Yep. Yep. Oh, Scaria. Uh, how does that affect the body? Should we be eating it? I'm not sure. What is Scaria? It is a disease. That affects... Oh, oh, causes them to go into a rage. Okay. Poisons the flesh and rots the skin. Okay. Rotting upon death so they can't be butchered for meat. And this one has kind of rotted. Yeah, rotting. Whereas this one isn't. But upon death it might. Yeah, so that's what we need to be wary of. Um, I am going to mark it for hunting. So, I think Vladlina here... Oh, it's going to play horseshoes. That, that's okay. I feel like you should be resting... Yeah. Oh, a combat supplier. I'll take that. But also... <laughs> and a party. Okay. It's all going on at the moment. It's all going on. But yes, Vladlina, you probably should be resting. We don't really have a medical room yet. That's something else that we might want to take into account with this space down here. Yeah. Maybe Bonfin's room here and some other kind of medical space. You know what? I think we can manage that. We are going to have to designate some more mining. I think that's okay. 
Oh, that's a lot of elves. That is a lot of elves. Okay, well, immediately, Morg, I want you to go out and have a bit of a conversation here. Combat suppliers could actually have some pretty decent stuff for us. We can see that uh, we have a few different classes among them too. Hmm, okay, all right. So, obviously we can trade some things with them, which is fantastic. Probably want to trade this iced coffee. I just saw we had a goat that was eating one, you know? <laughs> I think we're not gonna we're not gonna need them. So we've got 62 to play with right now. Let's have a look through all of this. Okay. Well, they don't have a massive amount. Iron Dwarf King's Crown. Rather nice, but we can probably do without that. Looking at the rest of the equipment that they have, this Chitin plate armor sounds good. It does cover a lot. It is also quite expensive, so. I don't know whether or not we're going to be able to do with that. A wand of ice. Capable of slowly converting arcane energy into elemental ice. Hmm. Interesting. Again, it's a bit pricey. Pricier for us. We might just want to sell things for now. Yeah. We will sell off these clubs and other bits and pieces that we don't really... You know, want to keep. Ebony Club, sell you two. Sell that short bow that we have. The bear headdress, well, it's alright. I don't think we want to hold on to it for too long. Obviously, we have some gold that we can trade as well. That can make up the difference as for how much we could get for that in total. A pretty good amount. Yeah. So, do we actually want to take anything? Because we could theoretically buy something from them here. Being a lightning mage, I don't know how good a wand of ice could be. Although, if we put that in the hands of Ladlina, maybe they could do something. This weapon is enchanted and provides additional benefits to trained mages and fighters. Oh, it gives max energy, damage boost. I think in general, I think it might help him out. So sure, we'll go ahead and pick it up for now. All right, we'll accept that trade. Okay, well, that's that. Now, Bombfin, I'd very much like you to go and pick up that wand of ice. And there it is. Uh, we're going to equip that as a sidearm. Yes. Please do. Thank you. Ah, a good trade. And we still got some silver out of that as well. And you can go enjoy this party. Have fun, friend. I honestly don't know how that, uh, that wand's going to play out. I mean, we can set to be that, to be what he uses more often than not, but I guess we could see. That changed that then, right? Hmm. I thought for a second maybe it did. Not sure. Well, if he does want to use it, great. Oh, okay, so this musk ox is good. This one's okay to eat. It's not uh, rotten. It's fresh, whereas this one definitely rotted very, very quickly. Yeah. You know what? I think we're going to set a trading spot in here. Because uh, I'm okay with them coming inside and being nice and warm. Ideally, they won't bring their animals inside. But it looks like there isn't much stopping that. So, I guess, welcome, visitors. Welcome. Don't leave the door open for too long. <laughs> Well, while I was placing down some flooring, we've had ourselves a mana surge. The planet's celestial alignment has shifted, causing a surge in mana. All creatures attuned with magical powers will gain mana at an increased rate. Cool. Good to know. And well, I'll be damned. There's a birch tree out here that's ready to harvest. Sure, we'll chop that wood. And I'm actually surprised to see leaves on there as well. Bomfin is working down here a little bit more carving out this area, which we're actually going to use for a, you know, a medical space where we can have uh, treatments done. Here is where we will keep our prisoners. On the opposite side to Bonfin. Oh boy. And yes, we have some thrombos here making their way through. And I think we're not going to touch them. We're just going to observe them. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. I think because Vlad Lina, yeah, went to sleep, we did actually manage to get some treatment done on her, so that's a, a, a good sign at the very least. I think we're to continue 
with this down to here. And then we're going to have a similar design in this space too. My god, the amount of mess that they have made in here is unbelievable. I mean, I, I don't know if this gains us any extra, you know, goodwill with them, but it's, uh, it's a lot of mess to clean up afterwards, I tell you. Jeez. It looks like the harvest in the north went pretty well. We've got 330 wood up there. I'm in favor of that. And oh boy, yeah. The, the, the harvest over here has also gone very, very well. That's a, that's a lot of animals. That's a lot of meat. Well, thankfully Bomfin is done with his mining, so he's getting on to other work. It looks like our traders are leaving. And I believe Bomfin's actually, yeah, working on a wizard hat. That's something that we're going to want to make sure that he equips. Whether or not he does, I, I guess we'll see. We might have to force him. Or we could just try and build a specific outfit just for him. I guess we'll see if we need to. And the wizard hat is complete. Bomfin, you're going to drop it off down there, aren't you? Let's see. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't want it. So we're going to have to um, try and encourage him to take it. And there we go. Bomfin is wearing his wizard hat. Quite the look. Quite the look. And well, Lostiel also has a new ability point, which we're going to go straight into here for now. We're going to get three and ignore damage before we do anything else. God, look at this mess. Yeah, that's a lot. You know what? Let's just get rid of the trading spot for now. Until further notice. Ah, and Vlad Lena decided to grab the helmet. Sure. Good for you. Morg's got one on too. Well, with our group falling asleep here, that's another day done and dusted. Not as much wood down here as I would like for them to be able to keep these campfires refueled. So I think we're going to have to make something of a little stockpile for them. Somewhere where they can drag it, where it's going to be a little bit out the way. Maybe somewhere like in here even. Well, I am thankful to see that Bomfin is cleaning. And oh boy, there is a lot to clean, my friend. Oh, so much. Oh dear, we have a mad squirrel. Whoever will come to our aid. Lostiel, would you mind taking this thing down for us, please? Yeah, I think it's going to have to be you here. Let's see how this goes. Track this thing down and, yeah, pretty quickly dealt with. Thank you, Lostiel. <laughs> and I think finally we are having some wood get brought down. Our street lamps being refueled, among other things. We have a stockpile here for it now. Ideally, We'll have a whole heap make its way down this way. We do have plenty of wood still up here, so I think we're going to have to send Bonfin up there on a bit of an expedition as some caravan animals have wandered in. It's a camel, okay, and it does have something on it. We don't know what. It's all by itself. Morg and Vladlina will send you out to uh, deal with the creature as we have no intentions of uh, trying to tame it. That would take too long to tame this one here, and yeah, it is a little old. Ah, oh, the two of them are out. Yes, it looks like it's going to be Morg as Lobelia heads up to grab one of the frozen uh, deer that are up here. How you doing, Morg? Find your way around here. Get an angle. One that works. There we go. You want to go to your full range, don't you? It's not always the... Uh, <laughs> the best of maneuvers. Let's see how this is going to go for him. As long as he makes his way down here. Yeah, so he kind of just really messed around for a while. I suppose that's going to happen, isn't it? How are things going here? Hmm, swimmingly. Swimmingly. Since we've boarded them up, they haven't caused us any trouble, and I, I hope that continues. Since we boarded them up, they haven't caused us any trouble, and I hope that continues. As magic returns to normal. Ah. <sighs> But we aren't to rest, no. Our friends from Danan have arrived once again, and in greater numbers. This time, four of them. And these numbers will grow over time as our wealth grows. Yes. So, we, <laughs> we could rest, you know, stay resting for now. Are they coming right at us? No. They're waiting. Waiting around here for a while because it's going to be warm. At least a little bit more warm. Okay, we'll, we'll give our folk a little while to just, you know, relax and sleep through the night. There's no point in us disturbing them yet. Bomfin's the first to get up. Okay, 
Lostiel, not long afterwards. Go have yourself a nice meal. I'm just keeping an eye on them for now. Ah, there we go. They are beginning their assault. So we're going to grab everybody here. And we're going to get ready. Prepare for whatever this assault's going to be. Now, I don't see any, like, specifically, you know, high-classed people in terms of, well, having a class of some kind. So what I'm going to do is just go through and find who I think might be dangerous. Calvin? No, not so much. Ryle? Higgs? Good at shoot, but not much else. Ah, Waldo. You need to get put down. That shooting, that melee skill, you, <laughs> you can do some damage to us. Okay, so as they start to get closer, Bomfin with wand in hand... Which, uh, yeah, he, he, he can totally use the one device. Uh, we are going to look at... Um, oh, I mean, that was, a, that was a one shot. Interesting. You know what? We're actually going to take a shot at one of the others. Whitehead seems to be a little bit slower. Let's get Morg here. Vladlina here. I'm going to keep those two on the side. Okay, that's a stun. That's something. Okay, a few more shots ringing out here. Shooting level 12. Taking out Calvin. Higgs. Okay. At least they're going to be injured by the time they reach us. Bomfin, you are a ways off. I'm doing that again. Oh, Calvin is down. Fantastic. This is good. Quick fire with the uh, um, the magic there. We're going to get these two to move back now at this stage. Vladlina, back over to this side. Okay. Moving up. Moving in. Melee attack. Thank you. Take Higgs down. Higgs is down. Fantastic. They are turning. They are running. Okay, so we're going to move up, just so that we have a good chance to shoot them a few times here. Bomfin, you've got lightning at the ready, so Whitehead. Oh, you're down. That's all of them. It's just Calvin left alive at the stage. Okay, well, we're going to get Lobelia healed. We're going to unforbid everything very quickly, and then we're going to have a quick look at Calvin. Definitely no one else left on the map, right? No. Okay, so Calvin, let's have a look-see. You're not really good at anything. You're a cannibal. You're only 16, you know? I feel bad, but uh, I think we got to do something about it here. Who's it going to be, though? Lost Yell, I think. We're going to take everything that Calvin has on them first. And then uh, do what we need to do. A bit slow making your way over there. That's fine. Starvation? Lobelia. Uh, why? I guess because you just didn't eat for a little while there, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Calvin is still alive. Uh, we don't want to capture Calvin. Instead, we want to... Oh, you see that? I think that was the tiger strike. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, that can do a thing or two. Observed a corpse, unfortunately. Yes. But we do have a bit more equipment here. I don't know whether or not any of that's going to be useful. And we're going to have to dig some more graves. Three of them, yeah? No, four. Okay. Well, jumping into Misk, we're going to place those graves down, like so. And let's get folks working on them. Ah, that's fine. We'll send someone else up here. Lost DL, you can work on that afterwards. And you can eat that. That's fine. Prioritize burying, thank you. Same with you. Bump and botch the construction. That's okay. Lost deal. Thank you. And Morg. Get this last one as well. Cannot haul. Not sure why. Prioritize burying. Thank you. A lot of blood out here. A lot of blood. There we go. Done. And now this thing is unconscious. <laughs> we'll mark it for hunting. Those otters are dangerous, after all. And look at this. We're looking pretty good. We don't have anywhere for chunks yet, so I think we might try and expand a little stockpile zone out this way. We'll just say that there. We're going to hide it, clear it all, and we're only going to allow chunks to get moved there. That way we can actually get them moved. Uh, these are sandstone, so they're going to get, you know, turned into blocks anyway. Regardless, I think it's good to get them out of here now. We are also going to want to expand our cleaning to include this whole space. Make sure that gets done. And I think before we focus on 
the next room for Bonfin. We're probably going to try and um, get this hospital up and running. All right, Lobelia, not feeling too good. It looks like we have some tattered apparel on you. So yeah, it's the quilted vest yet again. Go ahead and drop that, take that off. You'll have to grab something else, something that's gonna be, you know, better quality than that. I'm gonna see that uh, healed up. She's tough though. Oh, and that is the camel that we took down. Okay, there's a beret, some silver, some components, and a light leather formal vest. You know what, Lobelia, you might be able to make do with that. God damn, looking over here, there's been a bit of a fight. Otters and raccoons, it would seem. Well, if we need the meat, we'll be sure to bring it in, but Lobelia is still hauling in these deer. Still a few more out here. Busy, busy, busy. With another night rolling around, all of our folk retire. Well, apart from Lostiel, who seems to be meditating before bed. That's okay, and Vlad led her up very, very early in the morning. As to be expected, Lobelia making a full recovery. Ah, look at this little fellow. A nice little snowman. Good, and it seems like everyone's fires are still going. Lovely. I suppose we don't need to keep this fed right now. When we don't have guests here, there's no real point in us having light in here. Yeah, there's not much we can do about the sconces. I think that's just always going to be on, but uh, yeah. Now, I have got Vlad Lina to focus a little bit more on hauling today for us, just because there's a lot of things out there on the map that we would like to see brought in. You know, plant scraps, that's not a massive priority, but uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can focus on some of the other things, like wood and getting some of this meat in place where it should be. I'm happy to have seen these beds come together so quickly. We've actually made some fur beds here, and these will be medical beds. I'm hoping it'll keep them a little bit warmer in general. And it's not really a medical room so much as it is a medical nook. And we can't put any wall sconces down here because these aren't really considered to be walls. What we can do is smooth those surfaces though. It takes quite a while to smooth, but it could be worthwhile. Let's have a look at doing it. Well, we can see the smoothing process in effect and it looks really, really nice. I think it's just gonna take quite a while. All the same, I'll be happy once it's done. And visitors, hmm, just passing through though. Hi. Ah, actual visitors. We will assure that safety. Folan, you're back. It's the same guy. He's back again. Well, he didn't enjoy himself too much last time. Let's try and entertain him. I feel like that might be better. I think we might have to also wait for him to arrive before we can designate stuff like that. But uh, yeah, all the beds here, they're, you know, they're worth 10 silver. I, I am looking at our prison going, ah, you know what, our prison's actually in pretty good shape, all things considered. Like it's in better condition, I think, than, than <laughs> this here. So let's make sure that we toggle that back on. Uh, and it looks like, yes, he is staying here. So going into our guest tab, let's make sure that uh, we entertain him. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, you have access to the shopping district as well. Vlad Lena working late into the night, or rather very, very early in the morning, rising up well before everyone else, getting to work, knocking at those trees. I really do appreciate those extra hours that she's able to bring. Oh, wow. Battle animals have wandered in. A group of grizzly bears, abandoned or lost, wander in. These are, these are battle animals. Okay, you know what? Maybe we could, we could try to tame them. It's this handler. Wait, they didn't self-tame. Of North, of Northern Rest. These grizzly bears are ours. What the hell? Ah. Uh, skill too low. Okay, well we need to get better at, at animal skills in general then. Holy crap. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, 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 that is, that is something. Two goddamn grizzly bears. Training, yes, all of the training. We've got war bears. God damn. That is, that is good. That is very good. Welcome, war bears. Um, you know what, for now, we, we just have these animal sleeping spots. I know it's not much, but, Welcome. Welcome, grizzly bears. Uh, we're going to restrict you to the animal zone. But 
yeah, we, <laughs> I'd very much like to see, uh, you know, you get some treatment. Goddamn mega sloths, huh? There's so much meat in here. We have ridiculous amounts of meat. If we just had some vegetables to offset this, we would be golden. But this is a lot of raw meat that's just going to spoil unless we get that hauled. So we do need to make it a priority that this gets done. Yeah. Vlad Lena, I know you're harvesting the tree. Who is close to home right now that can kind of help us out? Bomford, you're super happy right now. You're refueling a campfire. Well, as soon as that's done, my friend, I want to steal you. And I want to get you hauling some meat, my friend. Uh, let's see. Need an empty spot. Are these considered to be full now? Because we've got 700 in here. Yeah. Maybe it's considered to be full. I am not sure. I'm really not sure on that. Well, what I can do is haul this meat. So where is that going to go? Is that going to go over to this part? Possibly. And looks like Vladlina has slowed down a little bit. That's fine. Yep, we can drag them across to here. And that's got it maxed at 750. Yeah, we've already got some food rotting here. That's that's not good. Okay, so obviously we don't want this to go off. We all want to be using as much food as possible as well, though. Well, yeah, I, I'm not sure why I can store so much in there and not in there. Megasloth needs to die. And we've had another animal land. Yeah. Are you going to be helpful at all? Or just another strange one? You know what? Which a lynx that is actually kind of potentially helpful. So sure, <laughs> we'll have a look at chucking down an animal sleeping spot just over here and sending Lostiel out to try and rescue you. Head on down, Lostiel, and see what we can do here. You've got a great name as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look. Just save if you can, Lostiel. Like so. There we go. Okay. All right. So it is going to need some extra tending, but it's not too far away that I think we need to move that sleeping spot. That that can work for now. So we've got a bloody mega sloth here. We've got a moose that's just hanging out, and we've got meat that's going off. We need to do something about that ASAP. Yeah. We could be storing the extra meat on here for the time being. We don't have any berries to store, so that would keep it for a little bit longer. But ideally, I think we'd just have to build more of these salt pots. Not sure why they're working the way that they are. Or whether or not the meat needs to stay in here after it's been salted. Maybe it doesn't, you know? I'm thinking about that now. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe we can shift the salted meat out of here back down here now this is going to spoil in eight hours so this is just more as an experiment than anything i'm going to see if we can shift our salted meat to be out here okay bonfin i need you to haul this meat my friend and yeah <laughs> keep on hauling it thank you just bit by bit yes i know we're going to have rats and other things eating it just for the time being this is uh this is for science damn it Actually, Leah, let's go for this lot here first. Let's clear the pot. Okay, both of them are clear. Uh, you're making the raw mush into stuff. Okay, that's fine. We need to prioritize holding that now. Move it, move it, move it. Okay, good. It's salted. Okay, or rather, it's not. It's still raw meat. Will it get salted? I suppose we'll see. Keep on hauling for now, my friend. Okay, fine. If you need to eat, eat. <laughs> Bombfin, don't you understand? We need you. Now more than ever to get hauling. Okay, nowhere else to store it. Okay. Salted raw meat, salted raw meat. Okay, so it takes a little bit for it to salt, but after it's salted, we can go ahead and move it out. Okay, this is how we're just gonna have to preserve this really quick. Okay. I think we did it. I think we saved the meat. <laughs> no, we lost a little bit there, but we saved the rest of this here. We saved a whole heap. We've got 1700 pieces of salted meat and it is going to start to spoil now that it's outside we just need somewhere to store this now we have a ridiculous amount of meat okay how can we pack this as best as possible let's see <laughs> so what i'm seeing here is that the salted meat will still spoil unless we you know keep it in these salt pots so i think that's what we're gonna have to do figure out how we can get it to fit in these okay so morgue has been able to move a whole heap which is great 
I'm hoping that he will be able to haul more. Let's see. Yeah, for some reason this one seems to be able to get stacked up to the full amount. Oh, dry thunderstorms a little spooky, but uh, I'm not as concerned just because of all the snow. Maybe we should be, but also a little bit of rain is good. Uh, that, that is not so good. The Lena, we're gonna need you to help us extinguish that. That is now considered to be in the home zone. Okay, rescued animal doesn't join. Well, that is unfortunate, but hey, we do what we can. That was the cat, yes. And we'll go and remove that very quickly. Make sure that Vladlina puts it out because it's very close to our wood building. Yep, you can go back to rest now. Dangerous stuff, dangerous, dangerous stuff. Actually, you know what, if you're gonna, well, you're not gonna be awake, are you? No, that's okay, that's all right. Well, the salted meat uh, situation continues. That's something that I'm just gonna have to resolve in the morning. As it looks like we have hard snow piling down outside. Those fires aren't gonna last for very long at all. It looks like it was just there that was burning. Okay, that's all right. Okay, we managed to get one of them up to 750. I think we're gonna be able to do the same with the rest. Well, I'll be damned. Folan's actually helping. He's helping haul the meat inside. Huh. I am quite surprised by that. Which, are you gonna be a problem? Are you gonna hang around and be a problem? Well, eating rats, I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah, go you. And Folan, thank you. That's This is actually helping us out quite a bit. Are you gonna be able to store more? Yeah, looks like we're gonna be able to store the maximum amount. Ah, that's good. And, oh, okay, what happened there? Relations have changed. Natural tendency over time. Okay, the Black Ant Clan don't hate us as much. Okay, some other, you know, relationships might have gone down a little bit here and there. That's okay, we're just gonna have to monitor that, I think. Yeah, I'm so impressed. Fallen just continues to do this. He took a break for a little while to, uh, you know, just play some games, but yeah, he's actually helping us out here. I am very grateful. Oh boy, and this is starting to look rather nice. It's coming together. Yeah, and it's all been hauled in. Very grateful. What a good guest. And actually, speaking of guests, you're very happy. Wow, looks like our entertaining has been helping. Morg, ah, you're very charming. Well, charming enough. It does seem to fluctuate a little bit here, but uh, I guess as long as it's up high when he leaves, it's good. But yeah, that is quite the fluctuation. Hmm. Oh, and there we go. Score, 59. Really enjoyed their stay. Lovely. So that's, that's a positive. Good. An interesting note. Lobelia is actually wearing one of those quilted vests uh, that came from up here, I believe. Hmm, that's okay. And yes, which will let you hang around for now. You can take care of the squirrels and other uh, vermin that are here. <sighs> Surprisingly enough, those plant scraps are starting to get a little bit low. Our grizzlies seem to be happy and healthy enough. Yeah, Bora eating those plant scraps too, as well as squirrels and this other goat. You know what? I feel like maybe we shouldn't let them hang around. Yeah. They will just uh, scavenge otherwise. And we have another night rolling around here. All things calm and quiet. Lobelia working in the kitchen there. Morg taking a load off outside. This little area here in the mountain is coming together and... Well, we've got ourselves some visitors. It seems like whenever I check back in that we have some group coming to say hello and wow, we've actually got quite a few. More than we have beds for. So do we want to open the space up to them as well? I think we might have to. And with that being the case, we need to make sure that we get light in here very quickly. Is it warm enough? It is definitely warm enough. So this does seem to work. Let's get that in here, and ideally, we will um, look at uh, getting that built as soon as everyone wakes up. It's probably going to be Vladlina that wakes up first. Oh, you're just sleeping on the floor? Colonists can't claim bed. Uh, is it because of how much it costs? Probably. Let's see. Okay, I think everyone should have a bed now. Doesn't say that anymore, so they should be able to claim those ones okay. These zero silver ones. We could use this one as well. Is the extra two enough? I think, possibly. Uh, we might have to take, yeah, 
that amount off as well. Sure, that's okay. You can stay for free. Maybe do some shopping. Goodwill goes far, I think. Yes, Ledlina is one of the first up. We're going to make sure that she brings those resources on down here. Harvesting a pine tree? Well, maybe Bonfin will be the one that gets this constructed. Thank you. Much appreciated, my friend. Start work on that, and boom. We just need some wood now. And there is enough wood there. Let's go ahead and prioritize this refueling process. Ah, god damn it, the feeding frenzy. It's like every morning they just run along here. And yep, there are even more things for us to kill. Small animals. That goat is, uh... We could try and tame it. You know what? I will mark it to be tamed. These squirrels need to go, though. And that mega sloth. That mega sloth needs to go, too. Um, all right. That's something that we're going to have to deal with together. So, yeah. I'll wait until we're kind of ready for that. Hey, look at that. The fire is on. Excellent. It's not super warm in here. <laughs> Could be better. Could be worse right now. Okay. All right. We're going to mark this for hunting. We're going to get Bomfin, Lostiel, Lobelia, Morg. We're going to get everyone ready. Everyone ready to deal with this thing because, uh, well, we do have friends nearby as well. All right. It's close. Bomfin with your uh, machine pistol wand. Let's get you ready to strike. Uh, ideally, no, let's let it get away from the building a little bit here. Because I feel like we're going to set something on fire. Okay, here we go. Uh, don't hit Grizzly Bear. Actually, you know what? Crap, this is this is a problem. Let's back on up. <clears throat> if we hit Witch, that's not as much of a problem. Okay, there we go. It's going to happen. Stunned. I don't think it's... Yeah. Don't think it's a problem yet. We'll find out. Yeah, it's pretty chill. Still pretty chill. Hmm, <laughs> very chill, Mega Sloth. Okay, so far so good. And hey, look, we can actually see our paths again. The snow is slowly starting to go away. We can make another path along here, uh, up to Vladlina's place. Okay, all right, I guess we're moving forwards. I want everyone to kind of be in range here. Oh, we can lightning bolt it again? Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Let's just do that for now. Yeah. Bonfin taking shots. Oh, kind of hitting here as well at the same time. I think the ice is slowing it down. Oh boy. Well, okay, that went a little bit differently than I thought it was going to. Yeah. Everyone, just go and do your own thing. Yep. And we'll take care of the rest. That Arctic Wolf is going to become an issue for us. Just like many other creatures that are out here eating these plant scraps of ours. <laughs> Trouble. Trouble as always. We need that stuff for our grizzly bears. You know what? We're going to mark you for hunting. I think we can handle you just fine. Ah, yeah. Look at this. More things popping back. Good. I think stealth comes into this as well. Yeah. Not doing too bad of a job, Blood Thinner. Let's keep it that way. It is injured. Bleeding out. Keep on chasing it down. And that boom rat, ideally, would go before too long. I suppose we'll see, won't we? Nice. Excellent. Very nice. I we'll think we'll also go for the moose, but we'll just let time pass a little bit here. As it is a rather large creature, it could get a little testy. Well, well, yeah, we're back into spring. Excellent. We might get some temperatures where we can actually grow things now. But Lena will have a pathway up to your home before too long. And Lostiel, you're going to be busy. There is a whole lot for us to plant. But that will be in the next. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. The Northern Rest is growing. Lost Lorien is here to stay. We've had some raids, but nothing we can't manage yet. But there are many dangers out there in this world. And as our wealth and renown grows, those dangers become ever more observant. May our dwarven wizard ever keep us safe. <laughs> I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. 
And until next time, stay tuned.